welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Sofern IF22A long throw flashlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has a maximum output of 2100 lumens and the throw distance is 428 meters. This has USB Type-C charging. Now this can charge with USB Type-C and it can charge other devices with its USB-C port. So you could use this to charge a phone. It has an IPX8 waterproof rating and here's some specs on the back. It's powered by a 21700 lithium cell. So here's a chart of the different modes. It also shows the run times and the throw distance. So this has a powerful mode that has very high lumens but it also has this moon mode where it's one lumen and it will run for over 400 hours. So if you're camping you could use this as a night light. So let's get this open. Here we have the manual. So these words are very small on here. I'm going to go blow this up and make a bigger copy. Okay, I made a larger copy here. So again, we have those specs there. This talks about more features. Has an aluminum body, has mode memory, so it'll go to the last mode you used. Has reverse polarity protection, low voltage warning, low voltage protection. So if you're on one of the higher power modes, it will automatically step down to the lower modes if the voltage gets too low. And then it has temperature regulation, so it will automatically step down when the temperature lowers, and then it will step back up as it cools down. So to get started, we'll remove the back of this and remove a little tab that's protecting the battery. So to turn it on or off, you single click it. To change the brightness mode, you press and hold the switch to cycle through the step modes so it has eco low medium and high that's in the step group mode or stepless ramping from 0 to 2100 lumens so to go between the two modes you press it four times and i will demonstrate that so whether it's on or off you can double click it to turn on turbo mode and then you press it again to go back to the regular mode triple click activates the strobe mode and i do want to say there will be flashing lights in this video so if that bothers you you may want to tune out during the demonstration so while it's off you can press and hold the button to go to moonlight mode then click again to turn it off so to toggle between the step mode and the ramping mode, when it's on, you click it four times. When it's off, you click it four times to lock it out. When it's locked out, you can press and hold it to turn on the moonlight mode. So if you're putting this in a bag, you can lock it so it doesn't accidentally turn on and potentially get very hot. If it did accidentally turn on, it might turn on to that moon mode, which is real low powered and would actually run for a long time and won't get hot. And then we have a lot of safety things. You do not want to shine this in your eyes. And there's other safety things you want to read through here. So let's look at the flashlight. So here we have a lanyard. We have the flashlight itself. This is an 18615 cell adapter. And we have a USB type C charge cable. So let's activate the flashlight. So I'll unscrew the back. And here we have the cell and it had this little tab back here. So I need to remove that. And you can see these cells are flat on both ends. So you could accidentally put this in backwards and that's why it has that protection. So it's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Place that in there, the cap back on. This does have a little seal here. So as a maintenance item down the road, you could put a little tiny bit of silicon grease on that to help keep it waterproof. But I'll tighten it all the way. Now we can also unscrew it up here. And I, you shouldn't need to do that, but I do want to mention that in case it becomes loose, you want to make sure you tighten that back up. So I'll take off a message here that tells us to remove the tab and the flashlight's ready to go. So this flashlight feels really nice. It just feels solid in the hand. It has nice knurling here to give you grip. Now to turn it on, we'll press the button. And now we're on the last mode it was on. I'll press it again, I turned it off. So if I hold it down, it will cycle through the different modes. So this is the stepped mode. So we have low, medium, high. I'll press it to turn it off. Now, if I hold it down, we're going to go into that moon mode. You can barely see it's on. So I think that mode is great. So say you wake up in the middle of the night and you need to find something in your bag, it's pitch black out. You don't need to turn this on high. Your eyes will be adjusted to the dark. Just this little bit of light, you'll be able to see a lot of things without blowing out your vision. So if we want to go to the turbo mode, we'll double tap this. And that's the super bright mode. So let's turn it on. Now when we hold it down, we have that stepped mode. Now if we want to go into stepless mode, we'll press this four times. Just flash, now we can hold it down and it will dim. Or brighten so I'm holding it down it's dimming right now now it's at really low mode that would be the moon setting and then we'll hold it down again and it will start getting brighter so now it's at full brightness I'll hold it down and we'll go the opposite direction so I'll turn that off I'll do it again four times now I'll hold it down and we have that step mode now if we want the strobe mode I'll press it three times and now we have that flicker mode. So if you're lost in the woods, you could turn on that strobe mode and you could use it to help get attention. So that's really nice. So we also have the protection mode. So while it's off, we can press it four times. Okay. So now it's not turning on, it's just doing that flash. And if we hold it down, we can still go into moon mode. And then to turn the lock mode off, we'll do it again four times. And you want to do that pretty quick. 
So this little flashlight packs in a lot of modes. Next, I want to show charging it. So I have a USB charger here. We'll open up the tab. Now you'll want to make sure this is closed for your IPX8 waterproof rating, but we'll plug in the USB port there and I'll plug it into charge. And we can see this is a flashing red light. It's kind of hard to see because I have a bright light here on my camera. And then this is charging at five volts at 2.06 amps. So that can vary depending on the state of the charge of the flashlight. Of course, another feature of this is that you can use it to charge other devices. So here I have a USB type C charge cable. I'll plug that in to the flashlight and I'll plug the other end into this iPhone. And here we're charging the iPhone with the flashlight. So I'm going to demonstrate the different modes on this against the wall about 10 foot from me. And then I'll take it outside when it gets dark and I'll show it at a further distance. So I do have a little bit of ambient light coming in at the side, but I'll turn it on moon mode first. And you can see that really light spot there. So now I'll turn it on. I'm not sure what mode I was on. Let's look. So here's the low mode. There's medium. And there's high. And then I'll double tap and there's turbo. So you have a really bright spot in the middle and then you have a faded spot on the sides. So this is really made to be a spotlight to look at things at distance. Now you could use this up closer to say change a flat tire or something. You're probably going to want to use it on one of the lower modes in that case. But it is a nice even light. It doesn't have distinct rings in it. Now you do have the bright spot in the middle and it does fade between the two, but it's a very nice even light. I'll turn it on high and I'll walk up to the screen here And you can see, even when I got close, it doesn't have a very distinct edge on the sides. So now I'll head outside and we'll test it at a further distance. Okay, so I'm outside at night and I'm standing about 50 feet from some garage doors in front of me. So I'll turn the flashlight on. First, I'll turn it on the low mode. So you can just barely see the light at 50 feet away. So now I'll turn it on the regular mode. So I'm just going to hold it down and it will cycle through the different modes. So you can see the spot is about as high as the garage doors, which I think are around seven feet. Now I'll double click and we'll turn it on that turbo mode. So that's incredibly bright there. And it's a very even spot. So now I'll turn it on that strobe mode. So that would get a lot of tension. I'm not going to run that for too long. So even on this low mode, it does have a pretty good size spot there. So if you were searching for something, you could even have it on that low mode and then just crank it up to the high mode if you think you see something of interest. So that's the Sofern IF22A long throw flashlight. I really like the features of this flashlight. It fits in the hand very nicely. It's very small. It has a clip here and the clip will actually go both ways. So you can put it down or up. It has lots of modes on it. So that makes it very versatile. It has that moon mode. So you can use it at night and not ruin your vision. And then it has that super bright mode. So if you're looking at something far away, you can turn on that really bright mode and it throws a really narrow beam a long distance. And then of course it has the intermediate modes too. Another thing I like about this is that it does have that stepless dimming. So if you have a specific task where you want a specific brightness, you can just dial it in with that stepless dimming. And then of course it has that lockout mode. So one thing when I pack my flashlights away, I always have to be careful they don't accidentally turn on. With that lockout mode, I don't really have to worry about it. I can just lock it, put it in my bag, and if it were to happen to turn on, it would just turn on that low mode and not run my battery down. So if you're looking for an everyday carry flashlight, maybe an emergency flashlight, one to take hiking, and maybe you like to exercise early in the morning or late at night, and you want something to help you be safe, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please kick like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.